I'm Desper Robinson, you're watching B83 and this is another episode of Meet the Artist and today I'm here with SP. Yes bro, well go on. How are you doing bro? I'm alright, you know, I'm alright still. Yeah? Yeah man. Yeah, Finally man. got you in, we've been trying I to get know. you on the show for... There's been a bit of, but I feel like everything's right now. You know, you know. With the energies of a lion, yeah, finally. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah how's yeah. things for you though, man? Um, everything's all right, you know, to be honest. Mm. Yeah. How's, how's, how's the music? Yeah, um, the music, um, uh, I put out Belly at the start of the year, that was the first single that I did. Mm. So we went all right, uh, Mr. Jam premiered that. Um, working on a new single at the minute. Obviously, you know, we've got the I'm Different Part 2 thing coming out soon. So, yeah, just work, just working. I'm in love with the music again, so it's a good thing. What was it? What was the period of time when you weren't you weren't feeling the music? Like I know I know every artist kind of goes through this um, crazy up and down, but yeah, you know. yeah, I guess so. I guess so. I weren't really feeling it. Like I thought I was obviously I never stopped making music. I make music all the time. I love music. You know what I mean? But um, there's a feeling when you've got a spirit with you. You got the powers with you in it. Mm. That that's different. Yeah, yeah that's here. Yeah. Yeah, oh, <laughs> <laughs> you walk with the vibes yeah, now. Yeah, fam, it's just with me on it, and I'm just grateful for it, and I appreciate it. Yeah. So, what kind of, you know, what ins what inspires you? What gets you in the mode to like make music? You say you make music all the time. Yeah. Now, I used to produce a lot, and I know yeah. sometimes mm -hmm. you're just kind of going through the motions. Yeah, you're just there true, making. True, 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 like, true. what kind of keeps you kind of, you know, fresh with going in there making music? Um, I spoke to someone once that um worked with a few industry people, and the advice he gave me was um. Don't struggle to make music, struggle to stay inspired. Mm. So I like to like obviously look at art and things like that, listen to new music, obviously I've got a selection that I like, obviously I listen to old school stuff as well, as well as new school. Um, I try to go out and that and just see new things, new experiences and then just write about them. Yeah. Do you make, do you, do you make your own your own beats too? Yeah, 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 I produce now. I took a year about to learn how to produce, so I play piano, make beats now, so. Okay, yeah, okay. I'm involved in it. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the, is is the new music more of a combination of of your, okay your own musical mm -hmm. talents, both you know you know the songwriting mm -hmm. and also the musical production as well, or is um, it a mix of? Yes and yeah. All right, we've got um, the Om Different Part Two coming yeah, mm. which is obviously um, that's gonna lead everyone into like the self producing stuff like uh, that's coming after that's gonna be the album. Okay. So um, that's going to be like, everything's going to be produced by me on there. I've got, I've got a few other producers on there. Um, so then that's going to be like me. So right now I'm just transitioning into that. So like for people that don't know who you mm -hmm. are mm -hmm. as, and as an introduction to yourself, mm -hmm. give people like a background on, on SP, the artist and kind of your journey. Because mm -hmm. even, for, I mean, I've known you for yeah, 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 a yeah, while, yeah, 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 yeah. but I, even I don't all the way know kind of your beginnings as well. So it's going to be interesting um, for me to find out. So how did you get started in? with music and why? Uh, I got started um, poetry, to be honest. Oh, yeah. I used to write poetry and I um, was kind of shy. So to the teacher, don't put my name on it, just read it out, but don't, you get me, I used to read it yeah. out all the time. Obviously I realised I had a talent, got to secondary school. Um, and I sang first as well, before I rapped. Like obviously poetry and singing, I got to school and that. And then everyone's rapping, I'm saying, I can't sing in here. <laughs> you know what I mean? So then obviously um, I started rapping. Realised I was good. Um, my friend took me to a studio, DJ Grimes, back in the day. Okay, that's a so, name I haven't heard for a while. Mm, yeah. Grammy boy, you get me back in the day. Old school where bear shit started off. Vader used to go there. Leash used to go there. Um, started there. Um, linked up with um, Triple. Two thousand Triple. Mm -hmm. um, linked up with Bummer. Obviously, um, had a clash with Little G. It was my first clash, do you get me? So oh, I was, I was, was, it, I was, was like, this when Little G was in MDK? Yeah, yeah, I was like 15 at the time, you get me? I was young and obviously I've gone to the set and that. I've just gone there, done my thing and then, it's the bars have come and I thought, huh? Fuck it, you get me? He's <laughs> done it, you get me? And then obviously Bummer and that was like, yo, pressure and that. Like, and then obviously that's how I built the link through there. Yeah. And obviously then my show my love used to bring man to um, Chef Yogi and that. So. Start from there, so where, where was the clash with you and Lil G? I mean, Oxygen Rooms. Oxygen, the, yeah, legend, the legendary you Oxygen me. Rooms. Yeah, man, I was there from day one, you get me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's one of those places that if you didn't go um, at that period of time, yeah, it's that, dead. that's where the kind of, that's where the Birmingham Grime mm -hmm. scene really kind of like, started to get life, people meeting each other. It was a blessing for me to go there back in the day. I was, I, I used to go there and just look and just be like, yo, like, do you know what I mean? Mm. So I'm grateful that like years have gone past and I've elevated and I'm still here, you get what I mean? It's nice to see, because you mentioned Alicia earlier on and you mm -hmm. mentioned Vader as well. Mm -hmm. It's nice to see everybody from around that period yeah, 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 that's still been, you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. sticking to it, starting mm -hmm. to get the, 
the just Leisha. rewards of like kind of sticking to the art form. Yeah, definitely. Because Leisha, obviously, she was on it from like back then and stuff. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah. She's crazy talented, and to see the things that she's doing now is amazing. It gives like other artists inspiration. Do you mm. know what I mean? Is there anybody like regionally um, that inspired you? So when you when you were, like a young artist that you started to make music, was there anybody that you used to like was on radio that you'd be like, yo, my man's sick. From Birmingham. Yeah, 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 yeah. Feel free to say no if there isn't anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, nah. Obviously, I always give credit when credit's due, innit? Yeah, yeah. So obviously, I used to hear like people back in the days be like, "Yo, he's sick." Like, um, who can I say? I, when I first heard Bomb, I was gassed. I'm not mm. gonna lie. Do you know one of them ones? Yeah. When I first heard Pressure, I was gassed. Um, obviously, the tempers and that as well. You get me? Cause I was, I was young back in the day. You get me? But them man show man love as well. I done a set with him back in the day as well. So, yeah. But I wouldn't say I'd looked up to man as. I knew who I wanted to be. Mm. Do you know one of them ones? Like I always not to say I look past man, like nothing like that. Do you know one of them ones? Not any disrespect thing, but like I want to be an artist. Do you get what I mean? So I'm looking at man like Kanye, the Dre's, people yeah. like that. Do you know what I mean? The little Sims is now from London and things like that. So there, it, it, it's it's interesting you say that because the, there is a difference. Mm -hmm. There's a big difference between I think people that just kind of um, take music lightly. Mm -hmm. And just, uh, just doing it for the and yeah, for the true, hypes or whatever. True, it's like, true, yo, true. yo, my man makes me okay. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do some spitting bars. Mm -hmm. And there's a difference between that and somebody mm -hmm. that really takes mm -hmm. it as an art form. Mm -hmm. um, you know, visually, musically, yeah, yeah, you see yeah. things kind of you know kind of shine through. Yeah. I mean, how do you how do you approach kind of like your your kind of aesthetic, even you know, from design, photography? How do you how do you go ahead and? Um, I see everything before, like with the music and stuff in it. Like before I started producing, like. They'd call me the sample man in the studio, and I'm the guy that picks the samples. Even if I didn't make the beat back in the day, I had an idea of what I wanted mm. to sound like. Do you yeah. know what I mean? And then, um, yeah, so it starts from that, and then the melodies and stuff get added in, and I just just get. I'm, like, I'm very lucky to be blessed with it. Do you know what I mean? Which I didn't appreciate it for a while, but I do now. Do you know what I mean? Like it just it just comes, bro. Yeah. To be honest with you. Is there anybody in your family that's like musical, or are you kind of mm. you kind of like the first one to go ahead and and, and do it? My daughter now. <laughs> um, yeah, probably just me. Um, my granddad used to sing as well, but nothing like serious or not. To be mm. honest. Talk about the singing, actually. I was going to actually say, Ron, have you ever have you ever sang? Have you sang on a track or? You, have yeah, you, yeah, yeah. Um, me and Daps is in time. Oh yeah. Yeah, I wrote it as well. Yeah. yeah. So do you have you done any writing for anybody else or? Um, Tamika. Um, I don't know if you've heard of a big boy singer from um, Birmingham. I've done a few songs for her. And I've done bits and bobs here and there for other people, but I don't want to put it out there. Mm. You get me? What? Oh, oh, okay. It's it's, it's kind of Quentin Miller kind of. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying anything, <laughs> can it? I'm not saying nothing. We don't get we'll, we'll 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 leave yeah, that one yeah, alone. Yeah, 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 yeah. But is I mean, is that something that you can see yourself like getting I'd, into? I'd love to, to do that. You know, songwriting. songwriting. Yeah, definitely. Like if someone got me in and said, "Hey, like, would you do this? Would you produce this or songwrite here and that?" I'd love to do that. That's mm. like my passion as well. Do you know what I mean? I, 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 I'm kind of getting the vibe that you're you're a person that kind of makes yeah. music all the time. Yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah, what yeah. what do you do with? How do you go through selecting your music? Like, what do you do with the stuff that you don't mm -hmm. use? I mean, why don't you use it? It's because you just don't think it's up to scratch, or do you think mm, that's an idea? I'll come back later. Sometimes it's like I work on so many pieces and I run through a lot of music that sometimes I forget stuff. But it's not like um, I can expect. Right, if I make something here and I'm feeling it, like to the point where like my whole body and energy and everything, mm. then I run with that, I want to do a video straight away, I want to. Yeah, do, do you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? The momentum's yeah, yeah. there. Other times, because what I've learned from the past is I've loved the tune so much and then put it down and then I've lost that momentum for it. Okay. Even though it's a still a sick tune, yeah. you don't really make a video again, you don't really put it out, you don't promote it anymore. Because you've so got like a new, a, a kind basically, of like a new I've run through so much things, you get yeah. what I mean? So, um, and I'm always creating for a specific project or I always find like a, um, an idea from one song that's going to be a CD, it's going to be this, it's going to be that. I got a lot of ideas and I need to sort of slow down. Mm. I find I, I find the the Kanye's creative process. Mm. You mentioned Kanye earlier, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. but like his creative process, especially with this new album, where mm -hmm. it's very public mm -hmm. of him making changes mm -hmm. and and and, and like editing stuff, mm -hmm. and then he put out one version, and you hear the second version, it's like mm. he's changed his bridge. Yeah, 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 yeah. That 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 part of the creative process is is so in um, interesting to me yeah, yeah, yeah. because it's the decisions that get from you know when you make it to the one that actually gets released and mm -hmm. do you kind of go back on and things and listen to stuff for a while and like change um, bits and like, oh 
add I'll this drop in the gems there. I'll make music inside out, so I'll start with this part, then I'll do that part, then I'll do this part, then I'll start changing the beat again, then I'll start changing yeah. this and that again. So then it's like constantly like waves. Do you yeah, get what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, and yeah, then yeah. when I'm done and I'm feeling it, I listen back, I think, yeah, yeah, that's it. But obviously I'm constantly tweaking. But I've learned like, don't put it out just yet in it. Like just spend time with it for like a week or so, or even two weeks, and then bam, it's done. Because I, I look at it like, music's my baby, and it like when I make something new, I birth that to me. Yeah. So I take it. Yeah. How do you know when it's when it's ready? When it's ready. Music is listeners, so that's when I'll get people come down to the studio and that, and the listeners say, yo, this is serious. Um, why is it this not on the album? Why? Like, what? Oh, you like this? I swear down now. I weren't hearing it how they heard it. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And sometimes um, they're not hearing it how I'm hearing it. So have you got have you got anybody that you like frequently collaborate or like you mentioned, you know, you bring people in and you have them listen to it. Have you got kind of a circle of people that you kind of... Yeah, definitely. Um, you call you in a circle of like people that you, you take their opinions and... and I, I take yeah. um, Funkcase's opinion quite highly, Swifter's opinion highly, mm. Triple B's opinion highly, definitely, and um, a few, a few others, a few others. My friends as well. Do you know what I mean? Family and that, because that's where it starts from. I want my boys and my people to be bumping it. If you start feeling it, then safe. If you like ain't feeling it, then it doesn't matter if the world's feeling it, because that's where I came from. That's all. Mm. Do you get what I mean? Has there been a time that like somebody's or a few people said, "I'm not really." I'm not really feeling this one, you know, and you're like, you're like, yeah, no, actually, though, I'm feeling this. Yeah, Swifter, um, we've coming along, and that's one of my biggest tunes today, <laughs> and and it, and it worked. You get what I mean? Yeah. Like I sort of with Belly as well. He was like, why would you have a um, a, um, jungle ending with the grime tune? And I was like, it works. And then when Mr. Jam played, it was like, it works for him. I was like, do you get what I mean? But yeah. Like, break the rules a little. Now I was, just, I, was I wanted to ask you, even having a circle of people like that. Mm -hmm. You still gotta kind of mm. be sure of, of your vision yeah, and your art, and as much as you can get mm. advice from people, mm. you still gotta really know that no, actually, this is what well, I want to do. My problem is learning when to listen. That's the problem I have. <laughs> if you get what I mean? I'm a bit. <laughs> so, yeah. so what's your um? What's your situation now? Because I think I saw something on. Well, no, I don't think I know. <laughs> I, I know I saw something on the Twitter nah. about, uh, about you and Virgin. You see, the less you say in life, yeah, the more people presume, you get me? It was a thing like this, um, I seen JME. Okay. Um, he put out um, the thing that beat Drake signed to BBK, and then a fan must have put out a tweet <laughs> from 2010 that he said it, he predicted it, you get me? So I've gone, bam. Oh, oh wait, 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 stop, stop. What, JME predicted? Yeah. yeah. Predicted what? Um, saying that B, um, Drake would sign to BBK. He, he put out, um, Drake has signed to BBK in 2010. And then the fan found a tweet and put it up and said, yo, this is mad. You get me? So obviously, like, manifestations, he said it and it happened. Ah, okay. So then I've gone out and said, if I'm going to do it, I was this way, you get me? And I've done it. And then it sort of spiraled into something that I didn't <laughs> think it would. <laughs> yeah. I, I just did their message. I was thinking, oh, I'm not going to say anything. So that's when I put up the um, picture, um, speak things to me into existence, and then I think people got it after that. Okay, because I missed that bit. But, but I um, think I congratulated you on signing. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's... Um, but there is a few things around. I don't right. really want to say a lot of things that's going on, obviously, with the um, new CD that's coming out and with the album that's coming out after as well. So, yeah, I just I don't really want to say too much mm. about All right. Do you do, do you do a lot of that kind of... Speaking things into existence? Yeah. I don't shut shit all the time. <laughs> 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 nah, nah, nah. Um, just recently, it, it happens. It does work. Like, the law of attraction and stuff like that. I believe in them things, you know mm. what I mean? So yeah, anything that I've said, like I was living in London um, last year and I was going through a lot of stuff and um, I said to myself, you know, I'm a king. And when I came back to Birmingham, I got sponsored by King Apparel. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. Yeah, so I, I know a lot of people that live by the law of attraction. Mm -hmm. um, and it's not even, you know, even if you don't want to you know, put it into those mm -hmm. brackets of the law of attraction or whatever. Mm -hmm. But like just kind of writing down your goals, yes, and having that be a thing that you kind Very of important, you're you really know. working towards. Very important. You know, really helps. It really works mm -hmm. out for people. Mm -hmm. What's been your, you know, what you feel so far in your journey as a musician has been the kind of the the biggest Beautiful. thing, the, the biggest thing you've done, the the moment that, that's not even the biggest thing, the moments that, that's meant the most to you though so far in your journey. I think I opened up for Matt Miller, and um, I was in front of the crowd and I performed the tune. And it got like three wheel ups, and it was like um, 
I jumped, everyone was moshing. It's the first time I ever created a mosh. Everyone's going mad and I'm just like, that energy. And I jumped into the crowd and I was moshing with him <laughs> and I was still performing the tune while I'm moshing and that. And I've jumped back out on stage, back onto the stage and I, I lost my hat. And I've got my hat. And then the fruit has gone, here it is and the fruit, my hat back to me. I caught it and I'm thinking, yo, that feeling, beautiful. Yeah. So that's always stuck with me. And uh, where was this? Um, 2013, I think it was. 2013. Yeah. Have you done? Have you done a lot of like live events? You know, you're yeah. supporting people. Have you? Has music taken you to a different country? And uh, um, I've opened up for Devlin. I've done a show with Devlin. That was one of the first shows I did. Um, done a show with um, Grimaldon and Little Nasty. That was actually the first show I did. The Devlin one was after that. Um, I've opened up, for example, Tiger, Matt Miller. I got two overseas, three overseas bookings in 2012. I went. Um, Germany once and Belgium twice. So, yeah, music's kind of took me around and that, like, I'm very grateful, humble. Yeah, no, that's good, that's good. Like, what would you say um, is kind of the description of your music you're going to ask? If someone's going to say, how would I describe SP? Um, how, would you, how would you describe you and your musical style and the kind of feel of your music? Where hip hop meets grime. Mm. That's a, that's a short, simple yeah. answer. That, that's my style, where hip-hop meets grime. I'd say that with obviously a bit of soul and a bit of other stuff in there, but that's how I explain it to anyone when they say, so what's your style? Where hip-hop meets grime. Yeah. Is that, and is that the kind of feel that they can expect from like, the album going forward? And, what's the, and you're putting out projects, but what's, yeah. the, what's the mental difference for you between the mm -hmm. stuff that you're doing or, mm -hmm. you know, and the, the album? You know, what's the, what's the, what's the, we, what's we've the done the album first. Um, the album's called Young Kid Old Soul. So that was like, we started that like a year and a half ago. Hmm. So then um, I did that and I had a meeting with my team and stuff. And um, they advised me to just go and have fun again. Do you get what I mean? Like, put that down for a second. That can't go out yet. You have to like sort of, people need to understand you more. You need to put yourself out there more. So then um, I saw the writing safe and then obviously I hollered at the producers that I worked with, Funk Case, Triple, Sifter, Shackles, um, DH as well. Uh, the one leaving the one out. <laughs> <laughs> and then just um, started to make music again, started to like go back in the studio, vibes, and I started to fall in love with it and this project came of it. So yeah. Oh, I, it's, it's, it's interesting when you said like people, you need to get out there more. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I feel like you, you I don't think people know you as much as they yeah, should. as they should do. Yeah, that is true. Um, and and, I, and I, people have asked me this before, and I kind of I don't have the, I don't have the answer to it, and I don't understand. To be honest, I like, didn't really not? like. It was more of how can I say this is like a personal thing, isn't it? It's more like um, I didn't want to be out there at first. To be honest with you, I know it probably seemed that way, like, but I sort of got to a point where I thought, you know what, nah, I'm just gonna chill in my studio and just make this music. And then it comes to a point where everyone would come down and be like, oh, this is so amazing. Mm -hmm. Why are you hiding in here? And, well, I'm like, nah, you need to get this out. You need to get this out. And then I realised it's a sin if God put that talent inside of me. Yeah, definitely. I need to get it out there, yeah. innit? So yeah. then obviously that's why this year I've just been going hard. You're seeing the campaign. You're seeing me actually push properly now. You get what I mean? Before, I weren't really, like, really, really trying, to be honest. Mm. Are you, and, and now that you are... Mm -hmm. Pushing mm -hmm. and, and and working a campaign, yeah. etc. Things, thing, things like oh, you seeing the response. I'm seeing like fans and seeing the numbers go up and stuff like that. Um, I'm seeing a repetition of people as well, the kind of people that are into me, and I'm understanding. And obviously the type of music that I make, I, I could change someone's life. Do you know what I mean? I think that's a blessing mm. as well. Like when I listen to certain music, sometimes, um, say if I'm going through a situation, it's helped me get through that situation. I want to be that person that makes them kind of tunes, if that makes sense. Yeah, and that's important. Yeah. Uh, have you have you have you got any kind of feedback? Feedback from people. Yeah, I, when coming along, come out. This this um, woman messaged me saying that she's got um, some disabilities and that, and this song makes her feel better and stuff. Um, I got a cousin, her auntie died and things like that. Her auntie died, but it's, you know what I mean. So obviously, she said it helped her get through certain situations as well. So, yeah. And what's the for anybody that doesn't know the song? I mean, I guess they can Many find rivers. it on, on, on YouTube and SoundCloud. What's, but what's it about? Um, Many song? rivers to cross. Okay. So obviously not being there yet. Obviously still dealing with certain things, dealing with certain issues and pains. Obviously the song is a funeral song as well mm. that I sampled. Um, that was on TV as well. It was on Flavor TV, shot by Daniel Alexander. So um, yeah, good look. 
if you're gonna if you're gonna give any advice to kind of like a, a younger artist coming in because mm -hmm. it's 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 always nice for me to, to talk to people that that mm -hmm. really take things mm -hmm. seriously yeah no. like you know <laughs> I take tell. it seriously <laughs> yeah yeah um and it's always nice to pass that information mm -hmm. on to people mm -hmm. uh if, so if you're gonna give any advice to kind of like a younger artist that that's coming into mm -hmm. um the music scene business etc mm -hmm. i mean what 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 would you say to them as kind of things that they should really really um, take a look at and do Number one, know who you are first before you even open your mouth. Before you even write anything, know who you are. Know what you're about, know what you stand for. Um, find out what your sound is, what you like to listen to. And then who do you want to be five years time from there? And then plan backwards. Mm. You get me? And then... And just um, have faith in the higher power as well. Do you know what I mean? And if you um, move good and you live good, then it will only come back to you as well. So that's it. And um, know your worth, man. Yeah. That's it. Interesting you say know your worth. Mm -hmm. And we were talking about labels earlier on. Mm -hmm. um, like, would you... Is, is that something that you want to do? Or do you want to stay... Do you want to stay independent? I mean, do you see the value nowadays in 2016 of kind of signing to a label? Um, I've always said, um, at first, no, I didn't want to sign. Um, I wanted to be independent. But sometimes, obviously, if the deal is right, why not? If it's in your like best interest, do you know what I mean? Obviously, you're not always going to get a deal like that, but there is deals out there like that. Like Dizzy got that deal with XL, yeah. where he got to keep creative control. Adele's got a good deal with XL, do you know what I mean? So as long as it's the right deal, sign it. Do you know what I mean? Read mm. it, make sure you got your solicitors on deck and all of these things. If it's not the right deal, then keep doing your thing independent because you can still make money and be a successful artist. But then what success? Like, if I can pay my bills and I can live my life and I'm happy and I'm performing and I'm eating from music and I don't have to do a nine to five, that's success. You know what I mean? It's all just levels to it now. Mm. So I was gonna, oh yeah, I was gonna ask you what like what success looks like to you, and I guess it's all it's all relative. Being self sufficient as a man and being able to do your thing and do what you want to do and not have to worry about anything. I think that's self-success. Mm. And then anything else after that's a bonus. Like, I was blessed to be around Knox Brown this year and it was like... Whoa, that's... Knox is doing some... He, Knox like, is doing his, some... His, his energy is a, it's a blessing, bro. Yeah, do you yeah, get what I mean? Yeah. It's like... And obviously showed him a few things and he was just like, yo, do what you're doing, fam. Do mm. you get what I mean? And that, like, he did a lot. Do you know what I mean? Just that, it's a big thing. Do you know what I mean? Like, some people don't understand energy, like... When you transfer energy to someone, it's a madness, you know, bro. That's what I mean. That's why you have to lead with positive mm. energy, man. You know, it really, really makes a difference. And mm -hmm. it's interesting that you mentioned being around Knox. Mm -hmm. For anybody that doesn't know, mm -hmm. like Knox Brown is like, <laughs> like he's from Birmingham. Yeah. Well, not you know, he's from, yeah, 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 you know, yeah. but he's he's Birmingham bred, mm -hmm. I guess. Um, and has now gone on to work with what Mary J. Blige, Jay Z, fam, like Beyonce, bro. amazing, bro. Rich. And the crazy thing is about um, mm -hmm. what was the tune called? The first one he had with Rich, uh, Blackout. Um, he's Blackout. He did Blackout. He did Blackout. Did he? Yeah, he did Blackout. He did Blackout, bro. And um, never seems. I had. <laughs> you, I've got. I've got the original version of Blackout yeah. before he gave it to Rich, mm -hmm. and it's it, it it it's interesting about how things change. Wait, didn't it sound like that? I, I, when we come off camera, I'll play it. Oh, um, <laughs> now, you know, it's, one of those files I can't. I what can't I can say around, about or, that um, is um. Is, as a creative person and as like a creative producer, sometimes you make something and it's like, when the person puts their thing on top, yeah, it changes. Yeah. You then after that now say, yo, I've got all of these ideas. I'm gonna. So yeah. more time probably that happen. Yeah, but it's like seeing where he's mm, come on. from mm. and where he is now. It's an inspiration, and man. Again, that transference of energy. How does how does that kind of affect you? Does it does it make you know like yo like? It's possible, like you know, the levels are there. I can get to them. Yeah, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. Like obviously, because like I'm from Jamaica as well, innit? Okay, I was, yeah, I was born I, there. I, I didn't know. Yeah, came in when I was eleven months old, so it's like similar situations and that. So it's like um, it's just an inspiration. Like looking at his situation, I thought, rah. It sort of like helped me a lot. I it kind of like put that thing back into me to like have beliefs again. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like you can do it. Like if you've come from here, like it, it's possible. Do you know what I mean? And it's the words that he said to me, so I appreciated it and I just want to walk with it. Yeah, I'm not going to talk too much about Nuts because it's yeah, like, it's, <laughs> it's cool. I'll have my own discussion with him eventually. Nah, but yeah, his yeah, story, yeah. 
Beautiful. for what you've just said mm -hmm. now about kind of mm -hmm. knowing that you can do it. Mm -hmm. Like his story alone is very exactly. interesting yeah, yeah, for him to get to the point he's at now. Mm -hmm. um, kind of where do you um, where do you see yourself in in actually no before I ask that question mm -hmm. before I ask that question mm -hmm. how do you approach kind of you as a as a brand like the brand SP because you yeah. mentioned earlier on about getting SPs about yeah, yeah. out there. Um, how, do, how do you approach That's what you do to, to, <laughs> to, to, to um, like, you know, even down to the little things like that, like slogans and stuff, how do you, mm. how do you approach um, that stuff? It's just my personality, to be honest, you know, mm. Re like really just like, I've always been like a little shit, to be honest, <laughs> <laughs> do, do you know what I mean? And I feel like if I put that out there, people just accept it and it's real, in it? Like, so yeah, like with branding and that, I just try and be me and I feel like with branding advice for anyone that's looking for branding advice, you get me? Just be you. No one can't be you. Mm. The more you be you, it's peak for everyone else. Do you get what I mean? That's all it is. Yeah, that's just branding. Be yourself, to be honest with you. Yeah, I think it's about be yourself and then how to translate that into mm. different areas and kind of you, like you'll have people, opportunities, like, like etc. I know you're, you're a G at this branding <laughs> thing as well. You get me, so I know you understand it, like you respect it, you get me? Yeah. So, yeah, but obviously it comes from other people as well, like, CS is a good person. Yes. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I'm grateful to have a person like him in my life still. Like, he's done a lot of things in the past I'm grateful for. So, yeah. Just advice as well. Like, the people that torture that are around you, it's a, it's a blessing to put you on the right path and things like that. Mm. Um, yeah, and the triples and the K-mans and the... Yeah. <laughs> you get me? How, how do you approach the, the business aspect of, of music? Because as much as you as much as you are crea uh, creative, and I can tell... You know, you create. You, you mentioned to me earlier on about something that you did outside of music. Yeah. That you mentioned so many different disciplines. Yeah, 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 yeah. And for you to have gone through all of those different disciplines and then come out mm -hmm. the other end, like I can tell that you're a creative person yeah, and yeah, you've got yeah. different skills. Yeah. How do you approach the the business end? Of, I'm I'm of not gonna lie. I'll be honest. Um, yeah. I was crap at business at the start. Do you know mm. what I mean? I like I had someone in like in my corner that was like doing all the business and stuff in the back. Like obviously, um, shout out Bruce. You get me. He was the man that was doing all the business. Um, I had a girl in this year that came in. She done a good. She done a lot of things with the business stuff, and they taught me. So it's like I had mentors, and then obviously now, so like self mastery now. I'm ready to like fly on my own in it. So mm. I've got to kind of like tackle it. So um, yeah, it's been taught still, to be honest, about business. Before I didn't want to do it, you know, like I was a creative person. You just went, I just want to make the music. Yeah, it's difficult. Just let me just make the music in that. Yeah, but you've got. To, I don't want to know about all of that. But you have to know about that mm. because that's what keeps you afloat do you know what I mean if you yeah. don't do the business thing yeah it's, it's, it's different sides of your brain it's like left mm. brain right brain it's hard to be ultra creative whilst you, you're being you, you, you can like sometimes I like to call it like vanity and it like you can think that you're doing well like everyone's calling your name everyone's doing that, this and that but you need money in your pocket fam do you get what I'm trying to say you mm. need to be sufficient if you've got kids and that as well like it's not just about the, what about the future what about setting up things for the younger you in the future and that's what I'm trying to do, things like that as well. Like I've got my own company, I've got um, a label now in it. So obviously got um, head of marketing, um, got videographers and things like that. So yeah, I just hope that it just turns into what I want it to turn into. And what is the the label called? Are you putting that name out there yet? Or? Um, Roll Records, you know, it's the last name. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Roll Records. And, and and what's your what's your what's your plans for kind of? I just want to set up some just, just infrastructure in Birmingham, really. Mm. Like, the more of these things that are happening, obviously, I know there's things around like that as well. Do you know what I mean? But the more of them, the better. Yes. Like, in London, there's loads of them. Yes. Do you know what I'm trying yeah, to say? Yeah. So, you, talent is found. Like, it's not going to waste. There's a lot of kids out there that are talented, and if they're given the opportunities, then their future becomes brighter and it's different, and, it, and then it, there's a shift for, like, not taking it to a race thing, but for black kids, like, mm. we are very talented, do you know mm. what I mean? But if there was, like, outlets for them, then they wouldn't be doing certain things. Do you know what I mean? It's one of those things as well. I think when people see other people mm -hmm. that have been able to do it mm -hmm. and um, see their life changing through certain things, then mm -hmm. that kind of shines onto other people as well. Helps mm -hmm. to change the consciousness of mm -hmm. you know people in the community and around them. It's, you know, it's an important thing to do. And, mm -hmm. I, and what you just mentioned there is massively important mm -hmm. because there are a lot of talented kids that don't get the right guidance. Exactly. Well, it doesn't even need to be guidance sometimes. It's just like a sentence to say, like, mm -hmm. yo, bro, like, you know, just, like, just what, like, what are you doing? All right, then. Just that. There's some people that don't even do that and say, you know, you could do something different and then have them think, well, could I? Yeah, it's true. It's right. true. It's so true. Like, no, it's, good. it's good to hear. Um, but that is now actually a good segue <laughs> into my traditional final question, which is, uh, mm -hmm. um, where do you see yourself in, in three to five years? 
They're gonna be from Vlam. Nah, gas it if you want to gas it. Like, <laughs> let's 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 put the energies out there. Let's vibrate the stuff, man. Like, if you want to gas it. I saw myself on a beach in Miami. Get me sipping cocktails and this and that. Nah, obviously, um, I just want to be happy. To be yeah. honest with you, like before, yeah. I wanted a lot of things, and now I realise like. I just want to be happy in a few years' time. I want to be successful. I want to have my company popping. I want to have a few artists that I can help as well. Um, I want to make money from this thing. I want to help my family out, you get me? Pay for my mum's mortgage, all of these other things that I want to be able to do and be successful. I just don't want to worry about money, but I just want to be happy, to be honest. Mm. So, yeah, and I know I'll get those things. You get me? Because like, I was made for greatness, do you know what I mean? <laughs> I like that. And what can the fans expect from you coming up in the in the near future? What um, music? We, what, what music and projects should they be should they be looking out for? Um, I've got something coming out in the next couple of weeks, yeah, which I've only put it together like last week. <laughs> it's called Source, so it's like a CD for the ladies. You get me? Mm. So, yeah. <laughs> I I'm just about to say his name, you know. Large up subs, put me onto that right, sauce. You get me too much sauce, but um. Yeah, um, um, I'm a different part two. That's coming very soon. Yeah. Obviously, I've been listening party on the 9th of May. Um, going to have a launch party as well. So I'm going to book a few eyes. So hopefully, I'll get you involved. Yeah, in cool. If you don't. Um, young kid, old soul after that. And then there's a lot of good music from me. And honesty as well with my records and that. You get me like, it's going to be real. And just give you me. And obviously, if you fuck with it, you fuck with it. If you don't fuck with it, you don't fuck with it. You get me? Bro, thank you for coming in. No, That's man, it's been a blessing, man. Nice to talk to you. Yeah, it's cool, man. All right, I'm Jesper Robinson. You've been watching another episode of Media Artists on BA3, and we will catch you next time.